Hello guys, welcome to Swiss Knife Introduction Tutorial. Swiss Knife is a panel-based script for After Effects. It was created by Jaro Flesher and Mikhail Uglev, and we invested all our motion design experience in developing this script. So we strongly believe that most of you will find it really useful in your work. First of all, let's find out how to install this tool. Swiss Knife installation process is pretty similar to installation of any other After Effects panel-based script. Open your Explorer or Finder if you are on Mac and copy script file Swiss Knife GSX bin to Adobe After Effects Script UI Panels folder. I'm on Windows and the path for Windows is After Effects folder, Support Files, Scripts, Script UI Panels. Just paste it here. And that's all. Launch After Effects or restart it if it is already launched. I highly recommend you to make the first script run through file scripts run script function, because in this way you will be able to adjust the script interface look in real time without closing and opening panel again and again. So here we are. Swiss Knife is divided into four groups. Parallax, Interactions, Placeholders and Support. You can switch between them using these buttons. We did a huge amount of work on UI design to make it pleasant for those who like all beautiful with icons and all other stuff, but we also thought about guys who treasures their workspace. So first of all, let's find out how to customize interface look. For that, go to settings. And the first thing I want to show you is that you can turn on and off the icons. So if you turn off the icons, you will get this responsive interface, which you can make of any size you want. For example, small like this, or a little bigger, or super huge like this, or even this. But I think it's too much. Well, I will return to icons mode, because I have already got used to it. And the second important option for customizing your interface is column mode. And with this look, script panel have smaller width, which can be really important for some of you. And it's really super, super compact. You see? But let's switch back to horizontal look as I want to show you one more cool thing. It is a placement of navigation bar. It's about these four little guys here. So you can do this with this drop down. I prefer to see this navigation bar on the right side, but you can place it on the left side or on the bottom. Please note that in column orientation, the only possible placement of navigation bar is bottom. And we will be talking about power and corner pin option later in tutorials devoted to placeholders group. And the last thing that I wanted you to tell about is that you can turn off the tips. But if all they turn on and you can easily read all important information about functions in tips. But for those who hate any extra visual information, you can turn them off. And of course, don't forget to visit our About menu for more detailed information about updates and technical support if needed. So, as it was mentioned before, Swiss Knife is divided into four groups. Parallax, Interactions, Placeholders and Support. For each of them we have prepared separate tutorials. So let's move further and learn more about Parallax Group.